That's a big bull. You're darn right it is, Matthew. This is the hook. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch, and I love the University of Texas so much that I would never take a day off from talking about how great it is, except for, well, except for holidays and sick days and weekends, vacations. Okay, I would take a lot of days off, but not this week. This is an important week. So this week's episode is going to be a little bit different. You see, it's been a very busy week around the old Eder Harbin Alumni Center, but unlike some hosts, I'm looking at you, Seacrest, I'm staying on the job. The thing is, a lot of our time is being taken up by a couple of big projects this week, so this is going to be a slightly unusual, or as they say, very special episode of The Hook. First up, the Distinguished Alumnus Awards Ceremony is happening this week on Friday. Now, created in 1958, the Distinguished Alumnus Awards are given every year and honor people who have distinguished themselves, either in their careers or in service to the university, or of course, both. And this year's crop of winners is pretty darned impressive, if you ask me. Kind of a bumper crop, really. We've got Heisman Trophy winner, Sausage Impresario, and the Rose of Tyler, Texas, Earl Campbell. You've got former UT Regent Scott Cavan, former head of the State Preservation Board, Dealey Herndon, massive UT supporter and businessman, John Massey, astronaut Karen Nyberg, who, yes, has been up to space and done all the cool astronaut things you can think of and some you can't think of, and of course, Oscar winner and sort of our unofficial mascot here at The Hook, my future BFF, Matthew McConaughey. I wish I could high five you right now, buddy. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> We're also awarding the Distinguished Service Award, which goes to a non-alum, and this year goes to famed women's basketball coach Jody Conrad, who over the course of her career had 99% of her student athletes graduate, which is pretty impressive. You can watch the awards ceremony live October 17th, that's Friday at 7 p.m. on Longhorn Network, and a rebroadcast is scheduled for later, so as they used to say, check your local listings. We, and by we I mean you, Corey, are also hard at work at our I'll Call Day TV show, also on Longhorn Network. Check your local listings. If you're a fan of this show, hi mom, then you'll definitely love our I'll Call Day show. It's all the goodness of our I'll Call Day magazine wrapped up in a beautiful glowing TV package, also on Longhorn Network. Oh, and uh, before we go, if you're one of the people missing out because you don't have Longhorn Network, no need to tell me in the comments down below. Just tell your cable provider or maybe do something nice for a friend who has Longhorn Network. Well, that's it for this very special edition of The Hook. Of course, if you want some relevant linkage, I will magically make it appear in the description below. There they are. And there are also three UT news stories. You can catch up with that astronaut and distinguished alum, Karen Nyberg, in a beautiful interactive piece written by my colleague, Rose Cahillon. You can also see what went down at this year's Torchlight Parade and Rally. It's a great way to get psyched up for our upcoming home football game where our distinguished alums will be made making an appearance, and you can learn about the life and times of Judge Harley Clark, a legendary Longhorn who introduced the world to the Hook'em Horns hand sign. I'm Andrew Roush, and until next time, stay hooked.